So many of you have been wondering what we've been doing since we've gotten married. Well, we've been raising our children, blending, sharing important holidays like birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, spending a lot of time together, learning their personalities. <laughs> I'm still preaching. My wife is still worshiping and leading the choir and doing other things like she gracefully does. All together, we've just been blending and having a good time coming together as a family. But the latest thing we've done is my wife and I has joined the Cloud 10 Transformation Challenge. I'm in my feelings. We can do, oh, hello? We are in our feelings. Because we are at a birthday party, a kid's birthday party, and there is nothing but a bunch of pizza here. So why don't we rewind to explain the real problem, or actually the really great part of the whole situation. I'm Beyonce. I'm Lamika. And this is our channel. Carol's Ever After. So you see, this is my challenge and my struggle. I don't understand it. All this pizza, and the boy can't have none. Hey. So, um, it's been a while, but we wanted to record a new church day. We wanted to record a video to share a little bit about what's been going on. Um, so, I think one of the blessings of marriage is when you find great partnership, um, and partnership across all areas. Um, we may not always understand where our partner is with everything that they do, but if we're invested in their journey, um, as a part of our own journey, then it's, it's always a blessing. So, um, everything really began, uh, this video is really about fitness and weight loss, um, and we can have a separate video and dig a little bit more into our individual stories if you're interested. But um, I've always struggled with my weight. With my weight, um, there's been points in my life when I've been incredibly like active and I've done like really physically inclined things. Um, but after, just before I had my son, um, or, or just before I got pregnant with my son. That I was dealing with some some difficult personal issues, and I started to gain weight. And so, I, on top of it all, I got pregnant with him, and then I gained weight on top of that. And then I had a whole other struggle after I gave birth to him, um, and the weight has just kind of sat there. Um, I think one of the biggest things about weight loss and fitness is that a lot of it's mental, um, though it is a very physical thing. And I think that my mind has just not been in the right place over the last several years to even try to be disciplined, to try to rethink my lifestyle. I mean, food was comforting for me. Um, and so I've had moments where I've cried and talked to me and told them I was really upset um, and overwhelmed. You know, sometimes I can emotionally eat when I'm feeling overwhelmed and upset and things. And he's been very supportive um, to the point where I decided to undertake a six week challenge um, at Falton Transformations. Um, it was like cross training, um, hit, hit uh, high intensity interval training um, and things like that um, to attempt to really jumpstart my weight loss journey, but my fitness journey more than fake weight loss, like just being fit, like being strong, being healthy and things. And he saw, it requires a very strict, you know, a, a very strict but doable, manageable meal plan and things like that. And he saw kind of where I was and what I was trying to do and say, you know what, I'm going to do that with you. I'm going to be supportive and I'm going to be a part of the journey. It'll be our journey together. Um, and that's kind of what brings us to this video. Do you have anything you want to say about I struggle my weight too all the time, even as a kid, you know, um, I was fat, I had low self-esteem and all that kind of stuff, so uh, now it's a blessing to be in a marriage where you can do things together, you know, to where you better each other, you support each other, you push each other, so I understood that it was going to be hard for her to adjust to the meal plan and stick to it. And so, while yeah. also dealing with his food being different, yeah. And, and so the Lord spoke to me while I was getting ready one morning. He said, "Join her. You join her in everything else. Join her in this one." 
So I, she was doing a 60 day challenge. Like I'm just there for 30 days. And so we supposed to go five days out of the week. And so uh, I just took, yeah, I just took her meal plan and adopted it, adjusted it because I do eat chicken and fish. And so we're just on this journey to lose weight and, you know, be fit, be healthy, and, you know, feel good. You know, it's one thing to be uh, feeling good or doing something on your own, but when you got a spouse that can support you and that's willing to support you, it makes it not tedious and not hard, but it makes it fun, and that's the difference. And so we sit in the pool at this birthday party. They got pizza. Hey, look, just look at the pizza. Look at the, look at the pizza. Oh, that's good. This is good. Look at that. They got a lot of cheese. Oh, my lord. Oh, my God. And the pizza is good. It's cheesy. It's saucy. Just how I like it. And that's our favorite. And look, we sitting over here at the end of the table like we some bad going to hold a witness and we can't mingle with nobody. We cool. No, I'm just saying though, because we cannot eat this pizza. We can't eat this pizza. And it is hard. And I just want to cry. I just want to cry. But, but, but the awesome outcomes, uh, big picture outcomes, are going to be so much better, so much sweeter, so much more worth it. Uh, we already feel different. We dealt with the soreness and things. We dealt with the soreness um, and things of the first couple of days, but we're already starting to feel stronger. My stomach Those is things feeling tighten sore. up. My stomach is feeling sore. It's intense. No, 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 no. My stomach is feeling sore, and it's not because of the workout. It's because of the food. They got us eating like birds out here in these streets. Okay. They got us eating like birds. We gotta eat. Uh, no, it's pork. not. We gotta eat. It's in a portions. plate of food. It's Portion just that you can't double up and have multiple plates. Well, it's Sunday, and I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 garn I garnished that salad. I ain't gonna lie. I garnished it. But you know, I think it's also good doing a, a like a whole full blown program um, because you get to. Here's the birthday girl, y'all. So we got a break. She's so stinking cute. I love you. <laughs> That's our Logie Bear. Um, um, but we we do follow a regimen. We work out five days a week, an hour, um, and we do follow a very specific meal plan to help guide. He just eats what I eat, you know, to help guide um, me toward my um, goal of 20 pounds lost in the 45 days. It's actually 45 days. Um, it's 45 days. Well, no, actually, yeah, it's 45 days. Um, 20 pounds lost. Um, and so, you know, that's just a jump start. We actually want to continue to, to work out, continue to get to be physically active. Because we want to be around, you know, like my family's dealt with diabetes and um, high blood pressure and heart, heart health issues. And I just want to really make Listen. Certain things a lifestyle for us and for our boys Listen. so they, they can see it. I refuse to be the Baptist preacher with the gut hovering over the belt. I refuse to be shouting I the church. Belly, I, uh -uh. No, we're not gonna do that. The six pack. I refuse to be yeah, in, I, like I refuse to be in church and the praise break happened and I don't last uh, the first ten seconds of the praise break because I am fat and then I can't do it. I don't wanna do it, okay? I gotta be a change. So we're just making a decision together mm -hmm. to do something different. Yeah. So and I'm like, I mean my ultimate goal and you can show your ultimate goal too. My ultimate goal is to um drop about fifty to sixty pounds. And what was your what's your goal babe? I want to lose 60. I want to get down to at least 200. But if I can get 185, then hey. Great. So do like follow us on our social media. We'll post updates and status follow updates us. and things along the way. Um, you can find me on Facebook at uh, Lamika. If you search Lamika Carroll with two R's, two L's, or Lamika La Carroll, C A R R O L L. She said she said that very um, and uh, if you search him, Deontay D. Is it apostrophe? Apostrophe. apostrophe. I'm saying on your page, not, not in your name. I know what's in your name. Husband, on been. your page, babe. Yes, it's D apostrophe O N C E Carol. Um, yes, and, it's and on Deontay. Deontay. And um, on Instagram, Mika Bear 88. And your Instagram handle? Deontay Carol, all together, no apostrophe. Yes, Deontay Carroll. Um, so you can just, you know, just stay in touch with us. 
um, if you have any tips or recommendations or things that you want to share that work really well for you and your journey, we love to hear it. Um, you are our Vigra Village, and so, you know, we just wanted you to understand what's happening with us so that you didn't have to guess when you saw little things like us posting gym updates. I got, I got through week one, y'all. We got through week one. We got five more weeks to go with this challenge, but we're going to keep it going past that. I want to be a toothpick. So, <laughs> I want to be on my Give me that toothpick phrase. I want to be on my All you do is go. We don't buck like that in our We don't buck like that in our We have footwork. We have footwork to our We got footwork in the Baptist church. Okay. Yes. But Well, yep. So that's kind of where things are. Um, it's been a blessing, but I'm excited to take this journey with him. I feel really empowered to take hold on baby oh. lord baby hold on hold on i feel i feel really this empowered yeah i feel really empowered to take the journey right now and to take it to take it with him you know because not just that there's a lot of other great things that are happening right now in our lives but these are just a couple of the things that we want to share so this is what we've been yes. doing since we've been married well, no, we haven't been doing this. We've been eating great. So I'm just saying, this is, one of, this is one of the things we've been doing since we got married. Because we haven't been on the training together yeah. since. Oh, yeah. We've been partnering up in different ways for different things, work-related things, and all sorts of awesome things. This is a new journey in our Carol's Ever After journey. You know when you get married and you just eat, you lay up, eat. Yeah, yeah. That's we what was, happened. We was, we can't get happy. Little weight, little so we, we did gain a little bit of happy weight. I stopped, I stopped panicking and I couldn't close that button on the suit, man. Yeah. But now, you know, we are undertaking a new journey together and it's awesome. So, you know, that's, that's another awesome thing about having someone that you can partner with in life in general. You know, you can talk about the hard parts and you can also figure out a plan together and support each other and do whatever you have to do. So, I do, he, he now, because we were splitting it. Now he does drop off for all the boys so I can go in the morning to the gym. And I do pick up for all the boys so that he can go in the evenings. You know, you work together and you figure it out. You figure it out. And you guys, you deserve it. You know, in partnership, you deserve to be able to figure it out. Whether you have a, have a, a significant other or not, like just know that whatever you want to do, you can do it. You know, talk to the Lord, find accountability. We do group training so there's other people in the... Yeah in the gym with us and we see them on a regular basis they come now. in there with and the so hair bonnets good. and everything yeah. i love it i love it our gym is so black it's so black it's so afrocentric colorful i love it all shades of black i love it 50 million shades of black i love the bonnets i love all of it but you know it find community i think that that's one of the things that's been most beneficial because i don't feel like i'm going to like an isolated planet fitness visit and it's structured you know the it is structured. is structured and so you're doing you, something you have a fitness plan everybody's in the same fitness plan the most of your hour while you're here they get they get they, get, they definitely slip. help you with your hour I don't, I don't care what level you're on you you been you, in the gym 20 you years or it's your first time in the gym you're going to be challenged yeah. by the same exercises yeah. everybody does the yeah. same thing everybody does the same thing varying amounts of weight um they, they vary the, the intensity of certain things as well um, but it's it's just been awesome. We have community. I'm I'm always excited to see. There's a couple of folks that I know I can always see in, in the class that I go to, um, and we talk. We encourage each other to push and things like that. If you have a journey that you're trying to take, whether it's weight loss or some other form of weight loss, because you can be carrying spiritual weight that's unnecessary as well. It is not always physical, um, but any part of your life where you need to release something that's unnecessary for you to carry that may impact or impede on your wellness in any form you know being prayerful about it and also finding some sort sort of community or accountability to support you through it i'm blessed to have an amazing husband and also be able to go to a place where i can train in like small group and it works for me but you know whatever your whatever you need might be a little bit different and so yeah community is big and also having a supportive spouse wherever your journey is work towards it Yes. And work on it. So, like. And it takes time. So, like. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, click, tag, share, share, and, and subscribe to the channel. Yes. And look at all the other content we've posted mm -hmm. before and after the wedding. Mm -hmm. And so, y'all be blessed.
Talk to you soon. They got some more pizza over there. We just gonna stare at it. Not I.